No, not till I get a check from him. Oh, okay. Waiting on money. Is this Matt's son that's going to the military college? I don't know. <laughs> T-shirts are bagged. I'm ready to go smoke a cigar. So does this mean Jimmy and uh, Paul aren't going to be doing pot talk tomorrow night? They're supposed to be home tonight. Okay. Oh, man, he's got me following Betty Idol. How many kids Matt got? I don't know. How long before we go in, Matt's son? Hello? I'm here. I just sent him a message he hadn't answered. Well, now it's just dead air. Oh, nope. Here comes, uh... Matt just sent me a poke. Are you sure? Because I just poked him. It said Matt Hasley sent you a poke. No, I, I sent you, him one. You will be going straight through. Okay. So that means no commercial. Okay. <laughs> That's how I take that to me. Answer him back starting when? Do what? Y'all getting bad weather up there? Well, I mean, we've been watching on the radio down here, or the TV down here, that there's tornadoes and stuff going on up there. Okay, that means the ones have been seen. That's Joe. I hate to answer the phone right now because...
Hey. Hey, buddy, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. What's up? So, didn't Matt get in touch with you? Uh, I just got a message. He just poked me a minute ago and said I'd be going straight through. His son's been talking to me. Uh, Reconnecting. Team Speed is having trouble reconnecting. But not on TeamSpeak. That's interesting. Interesting. He's got Joe on the phone right now. All right, what's going on? He says it's showing live on Spreaker, but it's not doing anything on TeamSpeak. What did Joe say? He said I need to do the show on Facebook Live. It's not going to be recorded, though. Right. Well, it would be recorded on Facebook Live. Joe called me and I got that phone on my computer, that call on my computer. This is a first. It happens, honey. Yeah. But you're not the first show. Yes, I Pod am the first show tonight. Oh, I thought Podcast University came no, on they before you. To Thursday nights. Oh, okay. They're always moving stuff around. As long as they leave me where I'm at, I'm good. Have you tried restarting your computer? She's over here. Can you hear me? Now I hear you. Okay, I am on live Facebook right now okay. and I am fixing to take my headset off. So if you would like to come up here and put my headset on that way, you can hear if, uh, if they get us on, on tune in, uh, we can keep on rolling, but I'm going to keep it like this right now. Um, and like I said, bring me a hat when you come up because I just came from working in the shop and I don't want to take this headset off because I've got some serious hat head going on. Okay. So if you could do that, that would be really, really good. And I do have a follower so far. So let's okay. see what we can do and let's just try to keep the show going on. Okay. I'll be up there Thank in a minute. So
No, I would be live now on Spreaker. Is that correct, Matt? Okay, man, I sure do appreciate that. And let's just get going on with some news. I am going to uh, make a simple adjustment here. Okay, I got a message in from Big Joe Savino. Says, sound. So I've got my Big Daddy Don Garlitz hat on now. Got this at the museum. Uh, but if I'm live on Spreaker, I don't, or tune in, I don't need this. But I'm going to leave it on and take it off. I told you I had a face for radio. Uh, <laughs> but let's see where we're going. All right. Now that we've got this technical difficulty and the uncertainness, certainty of a live show happening and me having equipment failure and malfunctions, let's get on to the show. Good. Like I said, oh, you're, you're there. I'm here. Okay. That sounds great. That sounds great. Uh, all right. Here we go. Anyway, I got I got to say tonight after my show we have Sports Insider with Glenn Spilman. Uh, after that we have uh, Get Your Swole On with Randy Big Swole Thornton and Mike Darrow. Uh, then after that, I'm not sure we're supposed to have Straight Talk with Matt Hazley on, but like I said, Matt is in the place where they're having all the tornado warnings and everything right now. Uh, so we just got our prayers going out to them, and I hope that everything it works out well for them. Uh, Brick Cummins sent me an update this weekend. Uh, let's see, we got a lot. We got a lot of racing to talk about tonight. Uh, by the way, Joe, I saw the uh, the the track that you were at. Looks like a pretty nice place. Um, but we got a lot of racing coming up this weekend. Uh, July thirtieth, and uh, excuse me, June thirtieth and July first in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We've got Redemption eight point uh, That's in, at Tulsa Raceway Park. Over a hundred thousand dollars in prize money. Uh, the cool thing about this, we've been pushing this whole redemption series uh, for the last couple of months, actually since the show's been on the air, basically. Uh, and they're offering free admission with anybody with an active duty military ID, and that's something. Being, I'm a vet. That's something that that that's pretty cool with me. Uh, so we want to give a big shout out to our military, but we also want to give the uh, people at Redemption. Uh, and the Redemption uh, No Prep Series Racing, well, we want to give them a big shout out for doing this for our veterans and our, excuse me, our active duty military. Um, let's see, we've got that race. Then uh, we got the Southern Showdown at No Problem Race Ray in Bell Rose, Louisiana, July 3rd, June 30th and July 1st. Gates open at 4 p.m. Friday, 8 a.m. Saturday. Let's see, July 1st and 2nd, we've got the Big Dog Shootout at Hub City Drag Strip at Hattiesburg. Um, 2 p.m., the gate's over at 2 p.m. on the 1st and noon on the 2nd. Uh, you know, Hub City Drag Strip was the first drag strip I ever went to. I must have been 10 years old. My brother-in-law uh, took me there. And they had the jet cars. He that was before he was my brother-in-law. He was dating my sister, but he, I guess he was trying to make good with 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 uh, the younger brother. Uh, but went there. They had the Maxi Taxi, which was a jet car, and they had Fred Sibley's USA One. It was it was unbelievable. I've been hooked ever since. Forty three years since since I went to that, and I'm still hooked on drag racing. So that was kind of nice. Then, as long then as it's see, drag racing and not drag queens, it's all good. No, drag racing, not drag queens. Okay. Hold on, I've got a call. <laughs> June 30th at Gulfport Dragway, gates opens at 6. Eliminations start at 9 o'clock p.m. Uh, and these are 100,000-foot uh, races. Excuse me, they're not eighth mile. They're not quarter mile, right in the middle. So if you're geared for eighth mile, you can run these. If you're geared for quarter mile, you can still run this and you're, you'll be fine. Uh, just got another message from Joe Rocks. And man, I'm glad that you are listening. So if you're listening and you're close to uh, a computer, 
start sharing this thing so I got more than one viewer watching me because I am on Facebook Live at Whiskey Cars and Cigars. I'm broadcasting live, and I got to tell you, this is really kind of cool. Uh, Glenn Spillman, I watch Glenn do his show every week, and uh, I, 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 I see how, why you like it, man. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got an update today from Ashley Vining. She, uh, she's, I put out a thing last night for everybody who was racing this weekend to give me some updates and let me know where they were racing so I could get out and see them or send people to them or something. And Ashley, uh, Ashley is the wife of Cole and the mother of Waylon. Uh, and she sent that Waylon and Cole, and she said it just like that, Waylon and Cole. Uh, <laughs> we'll be racing at Baton Rouge uh, Raceway Saturday night, and we'll see if a seven-year-old Waylon can pick up another win this week and see if Cole can get that first-place win in the heat race. <laughs> oh, excuse me, the feature race. Step it up, uh, Cole. Yeah. I uh, want to send a shout out to Jesse Holmes, uh, whose Southern Outlaw Gasser has its blowout. October 6th, um, it, I'm sorry, it has its Southern Gasser blowout 6, October 20th and 21st at Atmore Dragway in Alabama. And this is our race. Uh, that we can we can take the Fury Dragster to if we are not doing something that weekend, if we don't have prior engagements October 20th and 21st. Not yet, but we may. We're, we're negotiating with a, a con right now around that time. Okay, okay. Uh, and uh, if they, they've already set up, I got to tell you, Atmore is a... It's a, it's a great track. It is, they've dumped a lot of money in this track and have really done, there's a, a casino, Indian casino there. Oh. And the Indian casino, I think, has put a lot of money into the track uh, and getting it up where it is. Um, let's see, GBO6 Host Hotel is the Muskogee Inn. Uh, that's the, they, they've got a special rate for, uh, this event. Uh, their phone number is 251-368-8182. Mention gas or raised for a special rate of $64.99 plus tax. This hotel will sell out for this event. They have it the last, at, at the, the, the last time they did it, they were those hotel and they sold out. Uh, so be sure and get your reservations. You will need to call to get the special rate. You just can't email in for it. Uh, it looks like my internet feed is back. It was gone for a minute. Now it's back on the, uh, the live. So I'm getting used to the, having my hair long again. Uh, I haven't had long hair for a long time and I have been doing it again. So it's in kind of a weird place. And with this headset, every time I kind of look over there and get a close up of it, it kind of freaks me out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you're into rat rods, I'd like to tell you about the 2017 rat rod build off. This is the brainchild of my friend Reese Reeves. And it's pretty cool. Uh, they are taking entries for this year's build off vampire chassis. Uh, was trying to do some work with them for the 2016 build off, and we got sidelined by two floods, uh, and had to rebuild two houses instead of, or yeah, rebuild one house twice. Yeah. Instead of uh, getting building on, chassis. Yeah, instead of building a car. <laughs> um. So yeah, I forgot to tell you, I, I have my guest with me tonight, my guest host. I snuck uh, in. Yeah. Author Lynn Gibson, the twisted Southern horror queen. She is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> uh, Good evening, day walkers and night stalkers. <laughs> but let's see. Now for uh, now on the 2017 build off. Um, it's going to be leaving Weatherford, Texas on October 5th. 
All cars are, you know, I had to take my glasses off when I started this thing and I was live, but I got to put them back on. Uh, <laughs> all cars are free to the invite. They're having a cruising 500 miles going to the Alamo. Uh, they're going to have mini bike races and uh, be coming back on October 8th for a 400 car show. Uh, not just rat rods, anything. If you've got a car and you're in the area and you want to jump in and go to the car show, you can do that. It's going to be in Weatherford, Texas. Uh, the cool thing about this is you can get in touch with Reese Reeves. Uh, his number is 817-597-1699. And all the proceeds from this event support Christmas for kids. It's a, it's a event that, that and I followed Reese the last couple of years. I see him dressed up as Santa Claus, go out and doing some pretty nice things for, for the kids. Um, let's see. I like it that Reese is listening to the show. I just got a huge announcement. That's how it's built. Huge announcement. Uh, the national build off now has a major sponsor for the tour. O'Reilly's Auto Parts has come on board with us and will be making a huge splash with awards and giveaways. Very uh, nice. Yeah. Our finals will be held in the world-famous Fort, Fort Worth Stockyards at Cooper's Barbecue. And I got to tell you, when I lived in Arlington, I went to Cooper's Barbecue in the Fort Worth Stockyards. And what I remember was just wonderful. Uh, but let's see. They will have the finals in the north side parking lot of the largest honky tonk in the world, Billy Bob's. You know, we might need to go to that. Sounds interesting. Yeah. Uh, we will be having surprises that weekend. Uh, Reese said he's getting really excited about the show. O'Reilly's will be giving away a over 80 awards. And a ton of really cool, giveaway, cool giveaways and door prizes uh, to members of the tour group. Uh, Billy Bob's has some cool special surprises in store. You know what that means? Oh, yeah. Free Dollar ribs. Shots. Dollar shots. <laughs> uh, and if, if they do have the dollar shots, make sure you have a designated driver. Uh Let's see. The next announcement will be having, they will be having, oh, this is going to be perfect. Yeah, we got to go to this. They're going to be having mini bike drag races and wheelbarrow races in the <laughs> parking lot. So, you know, the, the mini bike races along with the wheelbarrow races after the surprises at Billy Bob's are really going to make for a interesting day. <laughs> yeah, bring plenty of cameras. Oh yeah, that that may that, be a that, live that'll be a Facebook itself. live moment. Yeah, yeah definitely. We'll need like five or six different cameras in different locations <laughs> to follow some of the events that happened then. Uh, um, I'm going to talk. You want you talk for a minute? Let me turn my phone off. Get a little something to drink and cough. Okay. Well, you go ahead and cough, honey. <laughs> I'm still imagining the uh, wheelbarrow races, but drag racing, one thing, wheelbarrow racing, something else, as long as it's not people in drag out there racing their wheelbarrows, um, I think it would be a pretty cool event. That that would be uh, very interesting, especially yeah. with a few shots of Cuervo in them. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, I'm telling you. Uh, uh, Reese has been re working really hard on this event for the last couple of years, and uh, it's starting to pay off for him, so... We'll do Reese Rocket, Reese Reese. Reese, we'll do whatever we can to help you. I see I'm up to seven, seven people following the show live right now. So it will get better. This is my first. This isn't where I wanted to do it at. I have a call coming in that I'm not going to get. <laughs> uh, it's cool music on my phone, though, huh? Yeah. It's probably Big Joe. It's Joe. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sure. Don't, don't get any ideas. I'm not ready to go live yet. I'm telling you, we've got to get you to go live. That's, mm. you know, that's, we've got to get you to go live. You're so much better looking than I am. <laughs> and and you're, it's so much more interesting with uh, watching you on this than, than me. I'm holding out. Maybe Joe will pay me a bonus to do that. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. I got, uh, you know, we had this past weekend, we had the Mississippi Comic Con. Yeah. Which we weren't invited to. I know. What's so up with that? Mississippi Comic Con next year. You need to contact us. Call us. Talk to us. Let us know something. And maybe we'll even have a design feature on that 1927 Jaguar. Could you think of a superhero design for that Jaguar? Yeah. Elvira. That's not a superhero. <laughs> yes, she is. That's not a superhero. That's debatable. That is not a superhero. He's my that's, hero. That's a uh, uh, nepomaniac. That, you know, <laughs> Hashtag nepomaniac creepy chick. is not a superhero. He's my I, hero. Hey, I lost a viewer. I'm down to four. Or See, two. You can't be dissing Elvira. <clears throat> that, what happened? I dissed Elvira and somebody hung up. Don't go there. Uh, so I got an update on the Mississippi Comic Con from Frederick Roseman. Yeah. Uh, he said uh, from his experience that it was a well-crowded event over the weekend. Saturday, Very good. they had a ton of activity. Sunday, the, so the show started slow. That is a tongue twister. Sunday, <laughs> the show started slow due to church, but it really started to pick up later uh, and they had more of a crowd in the afternoon. Now I talked with, or I sent a message to Rafe White, who Rafe White is our friend, who is the promoter and organizer of the Southern, Southern Geek Fest, Fest in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, uh, which we had the honor of being at about a month ago. Um, and he said it was a great turnout. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's cool. This, this first half hour of the show is Brought to us by Jimmy John's. I don't have all Jimmy John's promotional information, but what I can tell you is if you want a gourmet sandwich, and it does not matter what it is, Jimmy John's is the place. Now, you know, there's other sandwich places out there that have sandwiches that are pretty good, but we did a Cancer Kids event uh, last year, and when we were in the tent the Jimmy John's people came up and set up next to us, which was a wonderful thing <laughs> and a bad thing at the same time. Uh, it was a fatal uh, error in judgment yeah, man, for them. Yeah, they should have moved that table down <laughs> about 40 feet. Um, <laughs> but the, the Jimmy John's sandwiches are just so – the bread, I like the bread. It's not a real, real hard bread. It's really, really good. Uh, and yeah, we just had a great time. And, and like I said, they gave us, they had their sandwiches where they do, what was it, Lynn? Little gift box, not gift boxes. It was but, a sample uh, box. It was a sample box. That yeah. was it. And it had what it had ham and turkey and roast beef and, and different salami, things you it. name it. It was oh, in there. Oh my God. It was, it was great. It was fantastic. Uh, Jimmy John's was. in subways, like com uh, comparing a flip flop to a Nike leather tennis shoe. Exactly. Jimmy John's being the Nike tennis shoe. Just because right. we're in, in Louisiana doesn't mean flip-flops or, you know, wingtips. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that that's our our show, our host, no, our sponsor. That's it, our sponsor for this hour. Hey, my, my likes are up to eight. I appreciate you for following. This is the first time I've gone live, so bear with me, and I promise I will have cooler glasses next week. These are my fifth grade teacher's wife, teacher's glasses. Um, I'll make sure he has on pants next week too, y'all. Y'all may stand up. <laughs> no, let's not do that. All right. Um, you know, you're, you, you don't treat me good. <laughs> Let's see. I got a message. I got a message from another one. We've got tonight at uh, 10 Eastern, 9 Central, you can follow Big Swole, Randy Thornton, uh, and, and Mike Darrow on Get Your Swole On here on Armed Radio. Uh, and I said that because Randy was a wrestler after being an NFL player. I got a message yesterday from another wrestling buddy of mine, Tony Carr. 
Oh, cool. Yeah. Tony Carr was in a celebrity golf tournament this weekend with, or excuse me, Monday, which, you know, Matt's not here tonight and I'm talking golf. Oh, criminal. Uh, yeah, but he was, he was with Jeff Foxworthy, who this is Jeff Foxworthy's event and Thunderbolt Patterson and Rocky King. Uh, this is the seventh, the second year of the knockout hunger golf tournament. Uh, it was at, I can't remember the name of the course, but it's a, a very nice course country club outside of Atlanta. Um, so, uh, this, they talk, this, Tony's a friend of the show and, uh, he's been, I've been seeing some of the stuff that he's posted. So I just wanted to give him a little shout out, uh, and, and we'll keep, keep up with upcoming events that that charity that does. So Tony, who is also a, a, a police officer in, in, in Georgia. And Tony, I really appreciate the job that you do. And I appreciate you being a friend of mine. And for any of you who haven't seen Tony Carr, uh, I'll post after the show, I'll post a picture of me and big Tony at, at the, with the dragster. Uh, he came by, he was here a couple of years ago for Christmas and, uh, yeah, we got some pictures of me and him went out and took a picture and smoked a cigar with the dragster. So, uh, we'll get a picture of that in there and I'll put that up. And then yesterday, guess who I ran into? Ew. I was in the convenience store that sells coffee and donuts mm -hmm. and muffins which while you're are, on your diet which aren't on my diet i don't eat those right, right. now that's just what they sell there uh -huh. uh, i ran into former lsu record holding running back 19 touchdowns in one season still a record i believe at lsu uh and jacksonville jaguar running back my buddy LeBrandon Tofield, Big Toe. Uh, <laughs> I didn't see him. He actually walked past me and stopped and looked back and said, "Mr. John." And when I looked at him, I saw who it was, and I was happy to see him because I hadn't hadn't seen him in a while. And uh, he put his head out to shake it. I just grabbed him, wrapped my arms around, him, and gave him a big hug. I said, "Man, <laughs> your family. I, I don't I don't shake hands with you. I give you a big hug." So we sat there and caught up for a little while. And I told him, I said, man, you gotta, you gotta come by the shop. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty <gasps> Lauren with cosmopolitans, Lauren. I usually don't look this bad. This is my first live show. I'm winging it. I got hat head. I was out in the shop working <laughs> before I came in. I got my lovely wife, Lynn in my ear and hey, on, Lauren and on. Armed radio, on armed satellite, radio. absolutely. Facebook Live, a little so late, but we're all, all here. Me. Yeah, this stuff's all new. So don't forget to watch. You can watch. You know, tonight is Alpha Night. We've got me. We've got Glenn Spillman, Sports Insider. We've got Big Swole and Mike Darrow, Randy Thornton on Get Your Swole On, and we may have Matt Hasley straight talk if the storm hadn't blown him away. But then on Tuesday night, it's ladies night and Lauren Damrich, I think is how you pronounce her last name. I've never actually heard anybody say her last name. Um, she has a show called cosmopolitans. Uh, it's one of those shows where it's kind of like the, a, a female version, an estrogen version of this because Lauren likes to drink a lot. Or, or that's not like that. Don't no, correct that. I don't mean it like that. She, she, I really stepped in it, didn't I? But she has one time. She has some guests. Uh, last night, I think she was talking about going to or not getting invited to a Fourth of July party at the Hamptons or in the Hamptons or going to a Fourth of July party in the Hamptons. And Lauren, let me tell you, when I worked at a Hard Rock Cafe in New York. I went to a couple of those events in the Hamptons and what I remember of them was pretty good. I had a good time. I ate a lot, but one particular, uh, event that was in the Hamptons was at, um, a person that was involved with, uh, planet Hollywood's house. And I remember getting there. I remember drinking there. And then I remember waking up in a hotel in Miami. How I got there, I'll never know. 
but it was a it was a good party. Interesting. Yeah, it it was something. Um, so, speaking of interesting, I, I got a little bit jealous this afternoon when when the mail run and I saw that big box in your hands and I figured, oh shoes. But it hey, wasn't let me give shoes. a big shout out to my brother Goliath Bachman. G man got some new cigars in the day. You <laughs> need to get in the car and come out here. You just heard her talking about the cigars came today, uh, which I'm going to be in a, a reviewing one in just a few minutes. And if you haven't had one of these cigars, you got to try it. I'm going to give you the Johnny blender review on it. And then I'm going to read you the review or the, the description that the, uh, the cigar company had, and you know, I just made it huge mistake because my wife was talking and I saw your name pop up and I started talking right over. So honey, I'm so sorry. Please. That's okay. I was wh talking you? about your cigars. That's, that's good. That was a good intro. Okay. Is that all? That's all. That's all you've got to say. That's all I've got to say. Okay. Just a little depressed. Go. It Welcome wasn't shoes. So um, I'll, I'll just order some more shoes so I can wait for the next box to come in. Oh yeah. You saw the, you saw them pull up with a package and get out and you thought it was shoes. Yes. That's right. Okay. That's why you came out the door. Yes. All right. In case everybody is looking around and, and can see things, this is the lady loft. Uh, this is Lynn's studio where she does her show at. I'm moving the, the computer back and forth where you can see various awards, uh, newspaper reviews, press releases, uh, autographed pictures of, of things that have been given to Lynn and sent by sent to Lynn by by different customers uh, or not customers, different celebrities. Celebrities, yeah, customers. Mm -hmm. Got the business thing working. Um, but yeah, this is this is not quite the uh, place that we're going to to be doing the show out of. Uh, oh, and the it, escape it, kit is up there as well. And You'll there have to is show the everybody escape that. Kit. No, I'm not going to spin a computer around because it's, I don't know what might break. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's get back to the show a little bit. Oh, you know what I forgot to talk about? What's We're that? The second half of the show, and I would like to talk about Strike Hard Gear. If oh. you have a, any Russian assault rifles, uh, StrikeHardGear.com is another sponsor of the show, uh, and they make uh, here in America replacement parts for any of your AKs. Uh, so you can follow them on strikehardgear.com. Uh, we'll be posting a link up to them after the show. Like I said, right now, we usually have all the pretty produced stuff that goes on for these ads and, and, and tells everything. But tonight we're, we're, we're flying by wire. Uh, so we're having to do some fill in because we had a little bit of te technical difficulty getting the show started, but I promise it's kind of scraggly and, and running rampant tonight, but I will have it better by the next show, and I will be in my estrogen-free zone for the next show. Uh, all right, honey, let's see. We've got the Fury Dragster. Yes, we do. Uh, we've got some. We've got a big event coming up July 22nd and 23rd. Yeah. The Fury Dragster will be there along with the Southern, the Southern Horror Queen will be guest at the horror con of Mississippi and Tupelo, Mississippi. Did you uh, see who else is going to be there? I have seen a lot of people who are going to be there. Like Bill Mosley from the devil's rejects are, is going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that. Mike but I'm, I'm, yeah, I know. I know. From, but there's from the Hills have eyes going to be there. I, is, I know is there somebody going to be there that you're, uh, Interested in? I am tweaking out the Museum of Paranormal and Occult is is going to be there. Oh my God! They have inspired so many different shows. They have. If you listen to the Twisted Horror Queen show, I did a segment on the Amityville House about oh three weeks ago, and they have this remnant of wood that's possessed, and it's got all kind of spirits attached to it that's been photographed, and they're actually coming with some of their inventory. So Hold on just we'll be a minute, setting. Honey. Up real early. Yes. Hold on just a minute. Uh -huh. For you people who cannot hear what she's saying, uh, the radio show, the, the, the show is being broadcast on armed radio and tune in satellite. Me and Lynn are both in the studio 
uh, on armed radio. Now with the live feed on Facebook, it's just me. Okay. Uh, you can't hear Lynn talking into my head, which I hear Lynn talking into my head, even when I don't have these headphones on and I'm asleep. <laughs> um, but so uh, if, if you see me being quiet, not saying anything, it's because I'm listening to Lynn talk. Uh, so I apologize for just sitting there saying nothing a minute ago. Uh, but I wanted to, if, if you're watching the live feed, Hey, whoever just clicked off, click back on. Okay, good. Um, it went from nine <laughs> back there. all right. Uh, I got, a, I'm a big guy and I, I'll come after you. I'll find out who you are and I'll come after you. Hey, my brother's online. John A, New Orleans police department. Love this guy. Uh, I called, they got the three stooges, Mo, Larry, and Curly, otherwise known as Johnny, Wayne, and Claus. Uh, got cigars in today, brother. Need you guys to get up here. And I need some help with a motor mount on a rat rod. Uh, but get up here. Let's see what's going on. The show's going on. <laughs> yeah, I, I see it, buddy. Uh, but I'm sorry, Lynn. Go ahead. I had to do that little expla explanation of why. I was just sitting here not saying anything. No, it's it's cool. Just so check we're out see a the, the piece of wood. Yeah, and and many many other uh, haunted relics that have some twisted haunted history behind them. I'm so excited to meet them. Cool. It's gonna be awesome. Cool. Let's I'm like see. giddy. It's great. You're giddy. Yeah. Uh, Leanna Quigley, an actress, a singer, a model, an author. She's going to be there. She was in Silent Night, Deadly Night, Graduation Day, and Savage Streets. This guy, I'm not sure, real sure. He was Leatherface. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mahaloff. Uh, Mahaloff, yeah. From, from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And, and Twisted then, Carnival. Our buddies from Twisted Carnival are going to be there. The children. Yeah. Uh, Gene Hamill. Oh, yeah. All the people from Twisted Carnival. Carnival. See, you got to watch out when I do that because I got Twisted Southern Horror Queen that I live with, and I got Twisted Carnival that are friends of mine. So if I get those two confused, Somebody's going to be mad either way. No. It's all good. It's all, all right. good. We got Josh TKO Turner, the pro wrestler. He's going to be there. And there's a lot of other guests that are going to be there. And we'll be covering those in the shows coming up in the next few weeks up to, up into that event. Um, I will have a link up on the page for the uh, Horcon of Mississippi. Um uh, where you can order tickets. Uh, it's going to be a kick-ass event. We're going to have a good time at this one. The Adrian's Fury Dragster will be there. Uh, I've got to see what the uh, the rules and regulations of and location of this are going to be because, you know, we might throw a little alcohol in this thing. and uh, You're going to be inside. We're going to be inside. Yeah. Scratch that. You're going okay. to be inside a building. No okay. alcohol. I mean, you can have alcohol, just not in the car. All right. I'll have the alcohol. Galad. How's that? Uh, my brother Galad, if you're still there. Galad Bachman, great guy. I met this guy when I was actually bartending in New Orleans. He uh, came down from Philadelphia. And Galad, I know you're not going to know I remember this. He came down from Philadelphia with his mother. He was interviewing for the police academy in New Orleans. Uh, me and him struck it off and started talking at the bar. And that was let's see, twenty years ago? Close. 18 years ago. It had to have been in ninety seven. No, it was uh ninety eight. Ninety seven, ninety eight, yeah, okay. Yeah. So we've uh we MJ Kirby, we we'll see you're joining the live show that's kinda crazy tonight, but uh Thank you for joining. Joe I will get a tan, and I have a fluorescent light above me that is blinding. Lynn put three of these in this room when she designed it, and these are three of the brightest freaking lights. When the sun is shining at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, you can walk outside, look in the window, and it is actually white going out of the window. These lights are bright. Uh, but anyway, Galad... Uh, this cigar I want to talk about tonight is one of the Asylum brand cigars, which kind of fits in with my, my life. Uh, <laughs> I got two cigars I want to review tonight. The first one is the, I give the, the put the t best one up top, the uh, Insidious Cigar from Asylum. 
Uh, this is an awesome smelling cigar. It's a good tasting cigar. It burns even. It, 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 it's just truly a great cigar. It's about four fifty a stick. You can get it a little bit better. You can, yeah, it depends on where you get it. I recommend, uh, for this, this cigar, Neptune cigars, uh, our friends at Neptune cigars had do a lot. In fact, the order of the box Lynn saw come in today on the UPS truck or mail truck was from Neptune cigars, uh, that had my, my weekly supply of Oliva cigars in it. Uh, the Flor de Oliva Gold, which is what I keep in the shop to smoke. Um, but the the Asylum uh, Insidious Cigar is absolutely unbelievable. For the price, it's a good cigar. The service at Neptune Cigars makes it worth. There's some big, big brand uh, cigar store outlets and superstores out there, uh, and I've dealt with all of them. Uh, I got to tell you, Neptune is a, a, they're a big, big company that makes you feel like, you know, they're, they're treating individuals and, and I really like them, but here is the, I had to say this. I never read what the other companies, uh, post on their cigars, but I, I did read this one and with Lynn being the Southern horror queen, I kind of, I, I thought it was funny. Um, I've got to put the glasses back on, so excuse me. Insidious, the horror movie may have made you cry like a little baby, but as luck would have it, Insidious by Asylum delivers quite the opposite effect. Tom Lazaka of Asylum Cigars, and Mr. Tom, I hope I said your name right, uh, created this blend to appeal to any cigar enthusiast, and each one features a uncharacteristic Ristically smooth profile and the first sweetened cap of the asylum offering to date. This, this style cigar was previously missing from the asylum por portfolio. So to please the masses insidious was born mm. insidious utilizes the first Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper leaf of any asylum release smooth and creamy. This wrap, concealed Honduran long filler and a Honduran binder all combined to produce a relaxing mellow experience. Nice. Uh, with, with, uh, boast point price points, less than five buckaroos, making this a sweet snack, both easy on the palate and on the wallet. Now, any of y'all who have ever heard me do any cigar reviews before, I wanted to read that cigar, that cigar, uh, uh, description just because of the, the horror movie thing, since my wife, the Southern horror queen is on, but, uh, you will never, ever hear me say that about a cigar. In fact, the next cigar I'm fixing to review is called the Cuban sandwich. And allow me to, to, you heard that nice brief report on a description of that cigar. Let me give you the, 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 the real deal on the Cuban sandwich. It was like biting a fart. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to have to lick the dog's butt to get that taste out of my mouth. Worst cigar I have ever smoked in my life. It was a cigar that it was $2. Uh, that's why I should have told it, you something. Look, look, it was overpriced at $2. <laughs> uh, I would not recommend this at all. This is going to go on my recommendations, uh, for you who follow the show, just like the Everlast plasma cutter. It was it's a it stinker. Was, yeah, it was, it was a choker. Uh, it tasted bad. Uh, like I said, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna have to do to get that smell out of my shop. Uh, it was just that, but that was the, you know, that, that is the, uh, the way I review cigars as I, I'll, if you go spend your money on something, I'm going to tell you the honest truth of what I think about it. And that one is like biting a fart. So that should pretty much give you anything that you want. <laughs> Interesting. 
Well, I don't know which direction they're going to head with your show, Ben, that we had a late start. but Actually, you, it's 8.01 in, right now, yeah. uh, uh, so I should be going out. Uh, if i got 30 more seconds, I want to say stay tuned for Glenn Spillman, uh, Sports Insider. Stay tuned for Get Your Swole On with Randy Thornton and Mike Darrow. Stay tuned for Straight Talk with Matt Hasley. Hazley? Hazley. Hazley. Uh, this, I'm Johnny Blender. Whiskey, cars, and cigars with my lovely wife, Lynn Gibson. (laughs) Uh, We will see you next week. And I promise on the next live show, it will be less estrogeny. And (laughs) it'll be a lot cooler. And I won't have just been coming in from the shop working. So thank you. Until next week, don't forget to listen to Armed Radio on TuneIn Satellite. Thank you and see you next week.